For an exquisite Cantonese dim sum experience in Kuala Lumpur, we head to the award-winning Overseas Hong Kong Dim Sum Restaurant along Jalan Imbi in Bukit Bintang. The original Overseas Chinese restaurant was started by Mr. Yu Su Chie and partners in the 1970s and has since grown to eight Chinese restaurants in Malaysia and Hong Kong. Dim sum is a style of southeastern Chinese cuisine prepared as small bite-sized portions of food served in small bamboo steamer baskets or on a small plate. Dim sum dishes are usually served with tea and eaten for brunch or lunch. At this dim sum specialty restaurant, we would highly recommend their gourmet dim sum including their black truffle abalone shao mai, black truffle prawn dumplings, as well as their regular prawn dumplings, steamed beancard roll with abalone sauce, choy sum, fried beancard skin wrapped with prawn, and their braised duck noodle. Everybody, we just arrived at Oversea Dim Sum. This is recognized to be one of the best dim sum restaurants here in Kuala Lumpur. We're so excited to try some of their very interesting dim sum dishes. Oh, and that is choy sum. That is my favorite uh, Chinese vegetable. What about this reddish cake? What about that reddish cake? You like it? Yes, I like radish cake. But how? How is that version of radish cake? Right, we've got more dim sum coming. <laughs> There's so many! Okay, I'm gonna take some individual shots then. Alright, Alexandra's working on the prawn dumpling, also known as hakao. Alexandra's the resident Hakao expert. Can I see what's inside? Mm. Wow, that's a pretty huge prawn. Okay. Yeah, what about? Thank you. Please say it. How do you like it, Alexandra? It's good. It tastes like the same. Tastes like the same in middle. Okay, looks like a good prawn. Okay, up next, the bean curd roll. I've always liked bean curd rolls. Essentially, it's a uh, bean curd skin, and inside is pork and shrimp. Mm. Wow, that is an excellent bean curd roll. Very juicy on the inside, the texture of the bean curd skin. That's heavenly. The choy sum is extremely fresh. Nice crunch to it. It's in a light soy garlic. Short. Wow, super enjoying this choice sum. Up next, radish cake. Looks like it's very crispy on one side and the other side. So they have a soy sauce chili mix for it. Mm. I think the cut is quite thick, but it has all the essentials of a proper radish cake. So, enjoying this radish cake as well. Cheers. Okay, Xana's trying the chong fan with prawns. It's a rice roll with prawns. Very 
brought down the wrapper a little bit thick. But it's okay. It's tasty nonetheless. Yeah, that wrapper looks a bit thick. But it seems like a lot of prawn inside. Yeah? Yes. So next is the fried bean curd skin wrapped prawn. It's a pretty generous amount of prawn in there. The wrap itself is a little bit oily and it's served with mayonnaise. That's sweet. Very crispy wrap. And again, prawn cooked perfectly. I find it a bit oily though. But delicious. Okay, one of their signature dim sums here is the black truffle abalone shomai. So one piece for like 13 ringgit. That is a massive shomai. Yeah, got a real piece of abalone there. So you have to take a bite out of this. <clears throat> that is a heavy duty shomai. Super flavorful, taste of the sea. Very exotic and highly recommended. Trying the shalom bao now. Yes. We're hoping that it is yes. very soupy. Looks like we have a winner. Best ever. Best ever. Best shalom bao yeah. ever. Yeah. Even better than Din Tai Yeah. For me. Wow. Why? Very soupy. Another signature dim sum that you have to order here, which is a gourmet dim sum, is the black truffle prawn dumpling. So I'm having this on its own. No sauce needed. Okay. Mm. The wrapper is so delicate. Huge bronze inside, whole. Perfectly cooked. <coughs> That's probably one of the best prawn dumplings I've ever had. And then it has that touch of trip black truffle oil as well. Absolutely delicious. A lot of herbs in that soup, huh? So that's the braised duck noodles. Looks like you get a quarter duck. We ordered that because they didn't have any congee. We're looking to have the prawn congee. And we got this duck instead, which looks really amazing. Alexandra, you're gonna really like that soup. Well, it feels full that I cannot finish anything. <laughs> Braised duck noodles is quite a dish. Uh, got quarter duck, which I have already deboned, and that's served with Sana, baby, and myself. The soup itself is very herbally, so tons of uh, ingredients you probably haven't tasted before, but it is extremely flavorful, and I think you feel an immediate boost of longevity once you. Once we dig into it. Oh yeah. Very good. I'd order this again. 
Wow, we demolished everything. That was really an amazing dim sum brunch that we had here on New Year's Day. I'm so glad I decided to check this place out. This place is absolutely worth your while if you love dim sum and you're in Kuala Lumpur. What can you say, babe? What was your favorite? Prawn dumpling. Yeah, mine was that uh, truffled prawn dumpling that was spectacular. How about you, Alexander? What did you like the most? I like the radish cake. Radish cake? What else? And um, the regular... Uh... Prawn dumpling. Yes. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Today, we are so excited to bring you our latest foodie discovery, one of the best pork ball mies in Kuala Lumpur at the new MB Market located at ICC Pudu. If you're coming from the city center, take a grab. It'll take around 15 minutes to get there. Hello, one pork ball mie soup, please. One pork ball mie soup? Yes. Yes, what do you want me? Thank you. Noodle. Uh, noodle. 